for the first uh, period of my college life, when I was 17, I was at Indiana University. And one of the faculty members there was Frank Edmondson, then a uh, highly respected astronomer. Um, I had always been interested in astronomy and science ever since my mother took me when I was a child to the Hayden Planetarium in New York City. Um, and um, one of the events that uh, I now think about that uh, kept me busy and interested in things associated with science was the experience that I had not only at the Hayden Planetarium as a youngster, but when I started college. Uh, and Frank Edmondson was teaching a course. It was a two semester course on astronomy. And one particular event um, stands uh, in my mind now as, as very important. One of the criteria or requirements was for us to go as a group to a, uh, an observatory near the town of Bloomington where Indiana University was located, several miles out into uh, a, an open field at very, very dark, a very dark night. And there was a telescope of some dimension there where we would have an opportunity to look. And uh, we lined up and the only light that was available was that coming from the stars in the sky or whatever else might be up there. Um, otherwise it was pitch black and the uh, walking path uh, had uh, a few of us with flashlights and we got to the telescope and we one at a time lined up the students did and looked through and this was all Frank Edmondson's doing. He was there telling us how and what to adjust and look for. And I saw Saturn with the rings around Saturn and it was really Saturn and the rings and it, I just felt uh, actually uh, transfixed by that whole experience. Uh, until then, I'd only seen images in a planetarium of, of the cosmos and the skies above me in a circular dome. Uh, now I was actually witnessing something that to me um, brought me away from myself and my thoughts uh, uh, about earth kind of things and said, what a wonderful dimension that is out there. Now, I never pursued astronomy as a career, but I always had a fondness for it, and I always loved science. And I, I think back to the Frank Edmondson day. He was a marvelous teacher and low key, and, uh, and he excited the classroom. And that was many years ago. And I always remember something that I haven't uh, lived up to when he said, remember many decades from now about the wonders that you've experienced in this course, and maybe you'll make a donation to the astronomy department at IU. Uh, 